guess this year was like more of a special year where we actually had time to hunt together. Yeah. Because yeah. usually, I mean, we don't get to. Right. How long has it been since we hunted together? Maybe, yeah. oh, it was your, you, you and Jeff in 2016, I think. Your deer permits. Double kill. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is a toad. That's a big buck. <laughs> We just headed out to Eastern Montana, bow hunting, and hunted together. We had a camera guy. I filmed you some. It was just kind of a hodgepodge of hunting mm -hmm. in different places and just covering country, trying to find bucks that were in good places to stock. Mm -hmm. Is he big enough? He's big enough. looked over a lot of deer, I would say a fair amount, a lot of young bucks. And I think that's kind of par for the course right now in Eastern Montana is uh, you'll go through a lot of just basket bucks, mm -hmm. three points, small four points. It's, it's not the most important criteria to a deer hunt to score, but we're looking for a buck that scores good, or at least has, you know, four solid forks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, good four a, point. A decent looking buck. Yeah, decent for me. looking buck. Cause I'd never, I'd never killed a mule deer with a bow. Some deer. We're gonna go make a move. There's a big three point. It's a three by four. There's him. There was another big buck they picked up. Holy cow, look at that. That's a four by four. Four by three. back in today to where we saw those deer. See if we can't get on some of those big bucks again.
had a couple good encounters. You know, that's why we bow hunt too, is, you know, the suspense, the, your heart's racing and, you know, it's a chess match. It always yeah. is. Those two bucks that we got right up on rim ro- on the rim rock with and we snuck right up to 62 yards mm-hmm. and they were bedded mm-hmm. and the sun was right at our back perfect right in their face and we like Meh. like called at them and they were like huh like they really didn't key in on what was mm-hmm. happening remember that right right and i'm sitting there over your shoulder filming and i'm like mm-hmm. oh it's a done deal it's a done deal Swing and a miss. I haven't killed anything with my bow since 2016. Yeah. Just a little bit rusty, choking that moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you practiced all summer. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I shot a lot, but there's a big difference between targets and a live animal for me. Yeah, we have to. <sighs> I don't know. Jitters. Yeah, my heart was pounding. In the moment, it's a game of inches, it's a game of seconds. Yes. And if I remember right, that buck stood up and your left and right was good, but I think the arrow just dropped right underneath its brisket. And Mm -hmm. when you're under time constraints, I mean, the buck stood up and I mean, more or less, you have to rush a shot, kind of. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know how long a mule deer is gonna stay there. Sometimes they act like that. Other times they hear a squeak or a meh and they're flying out of their bed and you don't even have a chance. Right. I don't know how many miles that we covered, but we covered a lot of country. Yeah. Glassing, hiking, getting up on rim rock and throwing up the spotter and just trying to find decent bucks and playing the the line game with our Onyx maps. And Mm -hmm. that was huge too, Mm -hmm. because you know, we're hunting, you know, parcels of public that are within private or edges and just small plots. And we just kind of, let the wind take us and just kept checking country until we found deer, really. There's some deer, I think. Over by the other water tank. There's quite a few deer. Just too far away. You guys are, you Tim's high, you're low. Like that. 420. 600. Same. Still high. You're high, you're low. 490. 470. You're still low. 550. Yeah, boy. 560. That's a long shot. That's 560. It doesn't look that far. I think the day that we spotted the buck that you killed, we saw him from the truck. Yep, just driving along kind of towards the end of the hunt, and there he is. There he is, and he's with those, I think. Which was really odd, a decent buck with those. and We like drove by him and didn't really stop, and we didn't want to blow him out. We knew they were in like a patch of timber. It was like a long timbered ridge, and we figured they're somewhere in that that timber, you know, bedded down. Because when we first saw him, they were on the edge of that timber, kind of down below. And when we bumped them driving by, they kind of went up they just towards went up, that. Yeah, into the timber. Up that yeah. finger. And so we just had to kind of still hunt our way through there. The big thing that day is we spotted that buck. We had that great west wind. And I just had a feeling that day. And we were going from kind of tree patch to tree patch. And just, I mean, at each tree patch or each tree or chunk of shade, spending 20 minutes mm-hmm. just picking apart every little piece of juniper bush 
anything in sight and just waiting, looking for an ear flick, looking for a patch of hair. We probably took 30, 40 minutes to go like 50 yards. Yeah, once we kind of got down to the edge of the timber. Yeah, just moving super slow. And we had seen some does kind of further down. Yeah, that's right. And so we didn't know. We were thinking maybe the buck was with the does or maybe off a little bit. And you were like, hey, there's there's a pet, like, like there's a deer. Mm -hmm. And, and he was like 62 yards. I, I think he was closer than that because well, we moved in. To about 50. He snuck into a buck. He's in that big tree. We're just waiting. We have a great wind. We're just going to wait. We know that since we have him located, we kind of have the upper hand and we still have that great wind. Yes. So it's just a waiting game. I yes. think, did we sit there for like an hour and a half? Hour and a half to two hours. Yeah, I remember thinking, you know, we did our part. If you get into that zone in that 50, 60, 70 yard zone and you don't have a shot, the rest is up to them. Mm -hmm. Either he's gonna feed down the ridge, down towards the does mm -hmm. into the timber and we're gonna have to try to get on him or if we're lucky, he's gonna feed out to us and kind of that opening to that pocket mm -hmm. and maybe get a shot. Just out of the way. Come left, come left. Zoom in, zoom in. Go move. Coming up the hill to the left. Leave your stuff. Hit that buck a little far back, just uh, back of the lungs, liver, and we're just waiting him out now. But it's a good hit. That uh, broadhead's doing the work. Stopped on the far rib. Tim was watching while uh, we went back to get the packs. We're just gonna keep a close eye on him. Not lose tabs of him on this hillside. giant i mean he ain't a giant but he's giant for me Jeez. that buck chose you yeah <laughs> as far as i'm concerned yeah he came out of his bed and walked right up to you right you, like you can try and try and try and mess it up and miss shots and mess it up and yeah but when it finally all comes together it's just it happens it's easy yeah you know a lot of times with deer hunting especially is you know patience kills the buck i mean that's yeah. usually what it comes down to but man I, I really believe in that mentality if you can get in the zone and leave the rest up to him, that's all you can do. Yeah, and, yeah. And if it doesn't work out, you can still feel good at the end of the day and be like, that was a great hunt. Yeah. You know, I did all that I could. Mm -hmm. And, you know, knowing that process and believing in it, 
-hmm. and whether you punch a tag or not you're still gonna go home fulfilled i think yeah i mean yeah it was it was definitely the best stock i've ever been a part of those are the memories that i think of is the great stock and that that's one of those situations where I don't care if I'm shooting or videoing or just calling a range. Like, that's just a fun hunt, mm -hmm. bottom line. Not the biggest deer we've seen, but I don't care. That's the best. That's one heck of a way to start out mule deer hunting with a bow. <laughs> First mule deer with a bow. Wow, look at his eye guards, too. Yeah. I saw the big forehead. Yeah, it's beautiful. I knew he was good. I knew he didn't have the width, but that mm -hmm. Beautiful forks. That's a good buck. Yeah. I don't even know the last time I got a I've never done animal this before. in the <laughs> truck hole. It never happens. Not even an animal. There. Yeah, right there. Yeah, when uh, you can get them in the truck hole, you know you're doing it right. We had like a 500 yard drag to the road and and he goes whole that doesn't happen very often